Hi, thanks for joining me again. Today is about checking the clutch oil levels. Uh, it's a message from Fiat to make sure that you fill it 10 millimeters below the top of the reservoir. So you, if you forget, you can always refer to this. And remember, this is actually clutch fluid reservoir that we're filling up, but a brake fluid is used, not for. They recommend this particular brand. And you'll also need a syringe to reach the reservoir. It's a small plastic 50 ml reservoir that you need to reach. The trouble with doing this oil check and oil replenishment is that it's very difficult to unscrew the reservoir. You've got so that's what you're trying to reach and you've got this cable, that cable and this electrical connector in the way. So use the screwdriver, press down on the top of this here, and while you're pressing, give it a pull to the side and it comes off. Take note of the green mark on the cap. It shows you how much to screw it back on later on. So the green mark on the white part should match the green mark on the black cap when you, put, when you place it. So your next step will be to clean the top of this with a clean rag and then you should be able to get your hands in there and just screw it up, unscrew it. Okay, so this is what the cap looks like. And you can now have a look at the reservoir. Um, it should only, it should go up, it should be 10 millimeters short of the top of that plastic container. So I'll pop that over the top. Now here I'm taking a lot of care to make sure that I'm screwing it in passively so that I don't cross thread. That's the number one cause of leaks, not screwing it back the intended, intended way. If you've done it the right way, there should be very little resistance, very little resistance. You'll feel no resistance as you tighten it. Well, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe if it's been helpful for you and leave any comments or click dislike if there's any problems with uh, the video. Thanks very much and I'll catch you next time.